After the Equifax data breach, which highlighted the consequences of unpatched software, administrators have the delicate task of ensuring that the latest patches are applied, especially across public-facing servers, while reducing downtime from potential crashes and reboots. A superior alternative to resource-intensive open-source patching techniques is rebootless live patching. Live patching minimizes downtime from necessary production server reboots, while keeping the system updated and protected from the most exposures. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This video will save your research time and will educate you regarding live patching. As today, I will cover everything there is to know about Linux kernel live patching and the ways it can save time. Whether you're new to live patching or an expert, we'll make sure you walk away with a thorough understanding of how live patching can help your organization and keep it compliant with the latest regulatory standards. So, are you ready to take notes? Let's get started. Precisely what is live patching? By applying patches to the running Linux kernel, known as live patching, or sometimes hot patching, vulnerabilities can be patched without waiting for a new kernel release or restarting servers. Bypassing standard release cycles and critical kernel issue fixes can be implemented more quickly with live patching. Unlike other live patching solutions, Kernel Care Enterprise, KCE, is not tied to any specific Linux distribution or kernel. It supports various configurations, including Amazon Linux 1 and 2, in virtualized and bare metal flavors. What is Kernel Care? What then is Kernel Care Enterprise? To keep Linux kernels, shared libraries, and embedded devices safe from exploits, KCE provides patches applied real-time in memory. It fixes flaws in the Linux kernel that could lead to a security breach without impacting availability. The server's security will be automatically patched every four hours, or whatever interval you choose to configure once you install KCE. That eliminates the need to restart your server after installing updates. Despite being released under version 2 of the GNU General Public License, this product is intended for commercial use. This product was created by Cloud Linux Inc. In March of 2014, the beta version of Kernel Care was made available, and in May of the same year, it went on to sale to the public. They've since made several helpful additions, including interfaces with automation tools and vulnerability scanners and a secure patch management server called ePortal, all of which make up Kernel Care Enterprise Edition today. When did the practice of live patching begin, and how did it come to be? The idea has its roots in the early days of programmable computation. Still, the story proper begins in 2006, when MIT student Jeff Arnold serves as a volunteer Linux system administrator. He knows the system needs to be updated, but he doesn't want to inconvenience his coworkers by shutting down the server. Unfortunately, someone has hacked the system before he can edit it, necessitating a complete reinstallation. Arnold used this incident as the basis for his master's thesis, KSplice, a program allowing users to change Linux kernels without rebooting their systems. As of 2010, KSplice Inc. had established itself as a leading provider of Linux live patches. After purchasing it a year later, Oracle restricted access to its version of Linux. Three more years passed until Red Hat and SUSE, two other major Linux suppliers at the time, released their live patching solutions. Each firm followed its unique strategy. They too, like Oracle, made their solutions contingent on customers purchasing maintenance plans for their Linux distributions. This opened the door for Kernel Care to provide low-priced live patches for numerous Linux distributions. I hope you enjoyed this video and the examples clarify your concepts. Before we move ahead, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates and notifications. Done? Let's get back to the video. How does live patching work? There are three parts to the live patching strategy used by Kernel Care Enterprise. A patch server stores patches for each kernel version and architecture type. This might be either your private ePortal server or the central kernel care cloud server. A lightweight agent wakes up and pulls the patch server every four hours or at user-defined intervals to see whether any new patches have been released. A kernel module executes the patching at the agent's direction, taking care of the necessary logic and mechanics of halting and restarting the kernel's processes. Here is the process simplified. 
When the agent detects a patch, it grabs it from the public cloud server or from a private ePortal and passes it to the KCE kernel module. This plugin module operates as if it were built into the kernel. The module takes control, pausing all work, except its own, to count the number of running programs. The module loads the updated binary into the secure kernel space, and the corresponding thread inventory entries are redirected. The kernel resumes, and processing continues. All of this occurs within nanoseconds, so that no processes are interrupted, and no failover condition is ever triggered. How to update the Linux kernel with security patches. For admins, applying Linux security fixes is just a fact of life. Although they happen a little less frequently than other patches, these upgrades are undoubtedly the most crucial. Since hackers will rapidly deploy exploits against unpatched systems once vulnerabilities are made public, administrators must patch the operating system as soon as possible. At the same time, it's a delicate process that must be completed without error to avoid downtime. There are three methods for patching your Linux system, which are method number one, utilize the command line to apply security patches to the Linux kernel. The advantage of this approach is that it only involves a two-line command and doesn't need any additional software to function. The downsides include the need for a reboot, as evident from the base. With this approach, your crucial Linux server will be down for a while, necessitating a downtime schedule and user notification. Method number two, using kexec, avoid the bootloader. Reboot time is significantly shortened by Linux's ability to skip the bootloader and hardware startup phases. Before using this utility on your server, you must install kexec. You must restart after installing patches. Faster reboot times are an advantage of this choice, although typing is considerably more laborious with kexec. As most officials know, a slip-up in one command line option can mean hours of downtime. The con of this option is the increase in the possibility of human errors. Method number three, using third-party rebootless tools, apply security patches to the Linux kernel. Linux patching tools that don't require a reboot do away with all their drawbacks. Many open source products have only one drawback. Patching is restricted to a single distribution. We've given you all the background information and other methods related to the topic. Let's get into live patching. What are live patching and patching software respectively? Patching software takes care of all the overhead for you rather than you having to create a patch file manually. These programs shorten the time it takes to patch software and do away with any typing that can result in mistakes. Live patching takes everything a step further by doing away with the need to reboot, a frequent headache for Linux system administrators. Officials frequently struggle to choose the ideal patching window. Updates to production cannot be installed casually or carelessly, but security updates must be applied immediately. Updates traditionally call for a system reset. Customers and employees that depend on server-based applications will experience downtime. Many administrators have no non-working hours since cloud applications that use software as a service, SaaS, serve users worldwide. Many web apps with public-facing functionality have this problem. Live patching eliminates downtime by allowing managers to patch crucial Linux systems without a reboot. Users often hesitate to restart a system for a variety of reasons. It could be that their system is under tremendous strain during peak usage or is executing intricate scientific computations. Users want their systems to be stable and secure and keep them up and running. Users can fix crucial functions without having to restart the system, thanks to live patching, which enables function calls to be rerouted. Before the function parameters or the stack are altered, live patching often has to reroute the code at the very beginning of the function entry. Why is live patching critical? The most important thing to remember is that patches are employed explicitly to address security vulnerabilities. One of the difficulties sysadmins face is that they must ensure that the uptime standards are being met while also considering security patches in Linux systems. This suggests that they might be unable to shut down systems outside predetermined maintenance windows. This tension is ongoing and just getting worse. From 2019 to 2020, 
there was a significant increase in security flaws detected, also known as Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, or CVEs, up by around 155%, according to the Red Hat Security Risk Report, 1,313 to 2,040. 2021 saw a slight decline, 1,596, but it was still 22% greater than 2019. Most of this has been an increase in moderate severity vulnerabilities, whereas important CVEs have remained largely stable and critical exposures have declined. Comparing temporary and persistent patching. Critical kernel fixes are applied differently by different live patching programs, which is one of the fundamental distinctions between them. Both short-term and long-term fixes exist. Temporary patching, often known as stack kernel patching, is a method of grafting a spot onto the kernel without fully integrating it. For example, when deploying kernel updates, Canonical LTD's Ubuntu Live Patch uses the temporary patching technique, which applies a separate patch in the form of a kernel module for each CVE. Consequently, although, interim patching dramatically improves our ability to conduct secure workloads, it is still not optimal. The difficulty arises from the fact that later patches may have unintended consequences on previously deployed patches to the same code, which causes performance degradation and instability over time. Because of this, users of temporary patching products still have to reboot every couple of months to get a fresh kernel image. In contrast, persistent patching is a long-term solution that includes only one patch at any given time. When a new CVE is patched, the fix for that one, plus all previous CVEs affecting the kernel, are applied in one atomic binary. In this manner, all fixes are self-contained, so there is no possibility of code conflicts that cause performance and instability issues in stack patching. Persistent patching accomplishes the crucial goal of completely eliminating reboots and minimizing downtime to the greatest extent possible, because users can literally run forever with no degradation in performance or stability. With all this information, we are going to end our video. I hope the information will help you understand live patching and its related concepts. If not, you can comment below your questions, and we will be happy to answer in the following video. If you enjoyed the video, please let us know by pressing the like button and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Till then, take care of yourself, and I will see you guys in the next one.